When I first heard about meditation, I thought it was a total waste of time. I didn't know what these people were doing sitting cross-legged in the forest or sitting cross-legged or sitting comfortably or their eyes closed. I thought it was, I wanted to do things. And people have so many misunderstandings about meditation. They think it's a religion. They think it's a sect or a cult. And as I say, I don't want to join a religion. I don't want to join a cult. I don't want to join a sect. I want a technique that will make that creative creativity flow, that'll make that energy flow, that'll give me more ideas so I can evolve in between, you know, things. And, and I can enjoy the doing, the, the enjoyment of doing. How many people work on a thing, but they don't enjoy it? They, want, they do it for the money. They say it for the fruit of the action. But your life is going by. The most menial work can be thoroughly enjoyed when all that happiness and stuff comes up from the inside. Life just gets so powerful. And, and this resistance, I don't know about the resistance to creativity, but creativity, ideas, the flow of ideas, everything that we do, everything we build or make starts with an idea. And those ideas are there, and you can catch them. And when you catch them at, a, say, at the deeper level, there's more there. And they come with inspiration, like a blast of electricity. And you are, if you fall in love with those ideas, you not only do you see them, but you see how to how to realize them, and it, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Appreciation grows. It's like there's an expression: the world is as you are. Some people they say see the world with dark green, dirty glasses. That's the world for them. You start enlivening this field of unity pure bliss consciousness from the inside, and your world looks better, people look better, relationships improve, ideas are flowing, you enjoy the whole dance of life, it's incredible.